Hello everybody, welcome to the first video in our Adobe Animate tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use classic tweens. Now it's worth noting that Adobe Animate has introduced motion tweens as a newer version of the classic tween, but a majority of the teams or studios that I've worked in still use classic tweens, so it's very relevant, and I don't think it's gonna go away anytime soon. I'll try to explain everything I do as I go along, but the main focus of this tutorial is the classic tween. So I'm going to assume that you have a basic understanding of animation and Adobe Animate. Before we get our hands dirty, I'm going to briefly explain what a classic tween does. When you create a classic tween, Adobe Animate automatically fills in the frames between the keyframes. And you can use this to animate the position, or size, rotation, skew, color, and or opacity of an object, preferably a symbol. In this tutorial, we're gonna use a classic tween to animate this cursor I've drawn. So we first want to convert the cursor to a graphic symbol, and I'm gonna do that by pressing F8, and I'll call that cursor. If we don't do this manually, Adobe Animate will convert the drawing to a symbol for us when we create the tween but it does this in a way that is unintuitive and hard to work with. So it's good practice to create the symbol before creating the tween. Next, we'll insert a new keyframe, and I'm doing that by pressing F6, and we'll move the cursor to a new position. To create the classic tween, I'm going to right-click on the layer in between the keyframes that we've created and select Create Classic Tween. And just like that, we've created our classic tween, which you can see in the timeline because it is purple and it has an arrow in between the two keyframes. You can also see that our cursor is now moving in a straight line between the two positions. It's moving a little bit too quickly for my liking, so we'll slow it down by increasing the number of frames in the tween, either by directly adding frames, by pressing F5, or by simply dragging this keyframe. And now we've got our cursor moving in a straight line a bit slower than before. But what if we don't want our cursor to move in a straight line? For that, we can create a classic motion guide. And we can do this by right clicking on the layer name and selecting add classic motion guide. This creates a parent guide layer above the layer we want to tween. And if you're not familiar with guide layers, you can draw or place anything you want in this layer, and it won't show up when you export your animation. We're going to draw a curved line to represent the path that we want the cursor to take. And pay close attention here, because this part is quite important. Turn on Snap to Objects, and make sure that the anchor points of the cursor symbol are snapped to the curved line. And we want to do this by moving the symbol or the line, not the anchor point itself. So not like this, because that could potentially cause the tween to misbehave. And make sure you do that for the destination keyframe as well. Snap. Once we've lined up our anchor points, we can see that our cursor is now moving along the curved line instead of going straight towards its position in the second keyframe. And it continues to move in this arc even when the classic motion guide layer is hidden, which is great. Now that we've got our cursor moving along a path, we're gonna make it look more natural by... Shut up, tram. Now that we've got our cursor moving along a path, we're going to make it look more natural by adding some easing. We can access easing in Adobe Animate by clicking anywhere on the tween. So just over here, and then going to the property inspector on the right. In the property inspector, we can see that classic ease, which is the default ease effect, has been selected for us and applied to our tween. Clicking on classic ease will bring up a list of presets, and we're just gonna select Ease in, out, and cubic. Explaining all the different easing presets and what this graph means is beyond the scope of this tutorial. But what ease in and out basically does is it makes the tween start slow or ease in, 
pick up speed, and then slow to a stop or ease out. We can take a look at our cursor now, and I think it's a bit too strong. So I'm going to go for a graph that is less steep, the quiet preset, and apply that to our tween. And I think that looks much better. So to sum things up, in this video we talked about how to create a classic tween to move a symbol between two positions, and how to add a classic motion guide to animate along a path instead of in a straight line. We also briefly covered easing and how we can use it to make our animation feel more natural. If you learned something from this video, you can help the channel out by leaving a like or a comment. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.